folks, we have here a brand new Harmar AL100 lift with the swing away. One of the most popular lift in America for small, medium, and large scooters. So this is the Harmar AL100 with the swing away uh, power lift. It is hooked up to my vehicle. And this lift does come with a pin that if you use that pin in the hitch, you will see your lift has no, you see how solid, there's no, no wobble in the lift, even though there's no scooter on there, okay? So what I'm going to show you before we do anything else, I'm going to show you about the swing away. If you need to get inside your vehicle, your SUV, your pickup truck with a tailgate, you need to open the lift. I'm going to show you how the swing away works. So just come over here and we'll show you. Folks, if you're going to want to get into your vehicle because you have the swing away on, which is a nice thing to have, here's what you got to do. The first thing you have to do is pull the safety pin out. The second thing you have to do is pull the blue handle out, push your lift away from the vehicle like this, and now you can open your doors of your SUV, your hatchback, your pickup truck. When you swing the lift away, folks, nothing on the platform. I've had people do it. With, don't put anything on the platform because it'll bend the lift, okay? So if you swing it out of the way with nothing on the platform, and then when you shut it, the only thing you have to do, the blue handle is already locked, but just this is a secondary precaution, you put it here. And the next thing you will do, if you look on your lift, you'll have two keys. And I would, I would highly recommend you make two more and keep them separate. If you lose one set, you got another set. You'll put the key in here. And then you turn the key on. And when you turn the key on, you'll see the light right there come on. And then you hold the button down and your platform will go down automatically to the ground. So folks, as you can see, there's a wheel here where my foot is. When that wheel goes under here, the platform goes under the vehicle, under the lift, and it comes back on properly when you're done. You see the wheel? And when you come back up, you'll have that tilt back on. So you drop the platform like this. And as soon as it touches the ground over here, you stop going down. Because if you keep going down, you're gonna raise the truck. Watch, see my truck raising? We don't wanna raise the truck. We just wanna get the platform all the way to the ground. So right there, it's close enough to the ground. And then you would get your scooter on here. So if you give me a second, I will get a scooter and show you how that works. We have the platform down and I showed you earlier how to extend the gap because this is a large 10 inch wheel. So you want the gap to be at least this far right here because when you bring the scooter on like this, you're gonna go forward and the back wheels are gonna be in that gap right there, okay? And it's, it's usually recommended when you lift the scooter up, not when you let it down, when you lift it up to run your car because if you run your car your alternator will be running, it'll send more power to your battery because if you have a low battery and you don't run your car, you may not get 12 volts from your battery and this lift needs at least 12 volts to lift all this up. So you would run your car and then you would go up with the lift. Now yes, it's going to tip down, but it's going to come back at an angle in a second. There you go. And you'll notice this arm right here will lock your scooter. The arm will lock your scooter. Now, the only thing you're going to have to adjust when you have your scooter is the arm. There's two screws right here. You can see they're loose. This can be adjusted up and down. So we don't want that arm to be too tight. We don't want that arm pushing through the floorboard. We want it to push hard, but not through the floorboard. So when you get your scooter, Whatever scooter you have, you're gonna, if it's a small scooter, you might have to let it out more. If it's a taller scooter, you might have to let it up so there's not as much pressure on it. So now we're going to go down. And that one is pretty much perfect right there. Okay, so I would have to tighten up the bolts. And that scooter is not going anywhere because the wheels are stuck in here. And that arm right here, folks, if you can watch me, this, it's, not, it's not going anywhere. So you don't have to tie your scooter anymore. The only thing I would recommend when you travel with your scooter is put your seat down, put this down, turn your key off on your scooter and put a cover. Because you don't want to go down the road without a cover on anything, especially where well, here in Florida it could rain five minutes from now. As a matter of fact, it's going to rain soon. So when you take, when you take the scooter off, you're going to go back here and push the button down. 
the arm will come up automatically and you will go until this corner not that corner but the corner on the side of the vehicle will touch the ground as soon as it touches the ground then you can go forward or backward I like to go backward because I don't have to go over the hump so I usually go backward it's a lot easier for me like this and then when you put the lift up the lift this is a very smart lift it knows when the scooter's on here and it knows when there's no scooter on here because of the springs here so because there's no scooter on here it's not going to come all the way up like it did before it's going to fold now watch so now it'll fold all the way out of the way That's how it folds. I want to show you something else. The only maintenance you have to do on this lift, this is for all of you who are buying any Harmar lifts, this elbow right here, and there's a wheel right here. You'll see it when you get your lift. There's a metal wheel. You can hear it turn freely. No, no lithium grease, no grease, WD-40 on here and on that wheel. Keep a can in the garage when you leave the house, when you're going down for the whole day with your scooter. Just spray this one time so it stays nice and smooth and you'll never have a problem with the tilting, the lift going up, and all that kind of good stuff. One more thing. On top of this lift, there's a little plastic cap right here. If you take that cap off, you can see my finger going in there. With a 3-8 socket, you can crank this lift manually or with a drill. 3-8 drill, 3-8 socket. If you have a problem with your lift ever, your battery in your car is dead, your motor in your lift is bad, which that's rare. These lifts last 10 years usually. You can crank it manually, but if you're going to crank it manually, make sure there's no keys turned on in the lift so you have no resistance in the motor. So the keys have to be turned off. You can crank it manually and you're ready to go if you have an issue. So I'm going to turn the key back on. We're going to let it fold up. So this is a brand new Harmar AL100 lift with the swing away. If you like this presentation, we have these lifts all the time, new and used. But this is a new one here. Give us a call. We'll be glad to help you out. Thank you. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.